Large bile duct stone evaluation and removal. A 45-year-old man was referred following a failed attempt at stone extraction via ERCP. CT scanning revealed massively dilated bile ducts and large intrahepatic and extrahepatic duct stones. An image shown here from the CT scan shows a large left hepatic duct stone approximately 20 millimeters in diameter, shown with an arrow. Another image from the same CT scan shows again 15 to 20 millimeter stones in the left and the right hepatic ducts shown with arrows. Note the significant proximal intrahepatic ductal dilation in both lobes of the liver. Initial cholangiogram confirmed the findings of the CT and showed many stones larger than 15 to 20 millimeters in the left and the right hepatic ducts as well as the proximal extrahepatic biliary tree. The sphincterotomy performed on the outside site was felt to be inadequate given the large size of the stones to be removed. The sphincterotomy was thus extended and completed to facilitate stone extraction and other therapeutic maneuvers to come during the procedure. Once the sphincterotomy was completed, the single operator cholangioscope was then advanced into the biliary tree where we were able to visualize the stones directly. The stones appeared as large mixed pigment and cholesterol stones completely obstructing the bile duct. It should be noted that large stones can cause chronic bile duct wall edema and inflammation. Note here the dimpled appearance of a chronically edematous bile duct wall. Electrohydraulic lithotripsy was used to break up the largest stones within the bile ducts. Here you see the EHL probe at approximately 11 o'clock on your screen delivering multiple shocks to the stones. EHL was performed for approximately 15 minutes to deliver enough shocks to break up the largest stones into removable fragments. We then used a 6 by 3 centimeter stone basket to remove the stones to the duodenal lumen. Here you can see the stones being extracted with the basket and released into the duodenal lumen following EHL. Using a combination of baskets and balloons, the ducts were eventually cleared of all stone material, and the patient has done well thereafter.